Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Kaizen Spotlight where we have wonderful and very insightful conversations with Kaizen champions and joining me all the way from Nairobi this morning is a very tall personality and it is really uh, going to be challenging for me to uh, comprehensively introduce Dr Manoj Shah first of all thank you very much uh, sir for joining us and sharing thank your you. valuable time thank you so much uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have uh, known known you and worked for you on your various projects and permit me to quickly introduce dr manoj shah um, is is a man with uh, uh, many dimensions to his uh, both his professional and personal life uh, let me start with his professional side of his life he is of course the chairman of the kingsway group uh, which is one of the leading uh, you know uh, companies group of companies in the tire business they represent various international uh, tire companies and they have over uh, 20 outlets um, uh, you know in kenya and probably also they do trading and other activities outside of kenya uh, the kingsway um, you know group is in fact a very popular um, organization a business in the tire you know in the tire and the related allied businesses um, he is um, apart from um, being a very successful uh, businessman uh, he has built this uh, group and made it extremely profitable they have interest in uh, hospitality they uh, manage the own and manage the village market which is a extremely popular um, you know um, it's i think it's a mul- it is a, um, it's got multi use it's it's a kind of a, a mall and other you know office space etc uh he's uh, got another very significant contribution another side of um, his life is in the philanthropic side and uh, i think the most significant thing that comes to my mind is the chairman of the mp shah hospital and um, also he has built the lions um, eye hospital which is among the leading uh, eye hospitals with an eye bank in um, east africa it's based in kenya <clears throat> and of course he's been um, a extremely passionate very successful um, you know m- member of the lions community he has held various national and international positions he has been decorated by several international awards and um, i think um, considering that this kaizen spotlight is only a 10 to 12 minute conversation i'll stop here dr manoj shah and uh, my first question to you sir uh many years ago maybe more than 2 years ago when we started the kaizen activities in mp shah hospital as the chairman you uh you grabbed this uh, concept you took to this concept immediately what about kaizen really strikes you at a personal level even before a, pers- a professional level what does and how does it strike you at a personal level thank you uh, very much jent murthy and uh, when you approached uh, the mp shah hospital in 2016 and when we started conversations and uh, in 2017 when we met and i instantly made a decision that yes the right way to go for the mp shah hospital is of course to go the kaizen way and really i did this because of my personal views my personal experience of what i have seen and what i have heard in the industry especially in the country that i live kenya uh, for me kaizen is not only about hard benefits it also brings in a cultural change of continuous improvement involving all tiers of em- employees and this is one of the biggest benefits that i saw about kaizen and i had no hesitation of telling you that yes the mp shah hospital it is time to go the kaizen way and in fact one of the other aspects is that kaizen in my personal view ingrains a paradigm of questioning why on things that matter this aids on shaping what to do next supporting clear awareness and change it also encourages good and honest relationships and i have seen that uh, with my own eyes i witnessed it i have experienced it not only at the mp sha hospital but at another hospital that i visited together with you in porto and also in a couple of industries that i had an opportunity to visit and one of the other personal views that i would like to share with the audience here uh, this morning this afternoon is that in order to embrace kaizen 
you must have an obsessive obsessive commitment to quality yeah. in fact we are all in the customer industry and today customers want more quality for less cost and this is absolutely the global truth jain murthy thank you very much uh, very well um, you know very well said sir very true um so you know um you know when we talk of customers and the service industry which you just mentioned um there is um you know when you talk of service there is a huge human dimension unlike a manufacturing where there is a lot of uh, standardization and equipments um but in the service industry for example if we take of an hospital there is the nurse to patient interaction there is the doctor uh, interaction with patients etc um so how can you just highlight a little bit how uh these interactions the involvement how kaizen has been able to bring these interactions to the forefront and make you know make some improvements in these interactions are patients experiencing any improvement in these interactions they definitely in fact i want to share some very good examples uh with all the audience here this morning of the interaction between patients and our employees in fact one good thing that kaizen has done is that it has made our employees more aware of what to do and actually made them do the best practices and processes that in turn will give absolutely the best customer service and when we really look at some of the examples of success that we have had at the mpsha hospital and especially in the application of lean in healthcare yeah. uh, i mean i can give you certain examples if you talk about our laboratory just by introducing kaizen in the laboratory and the employees embracing uh, what needed to be done it has reduced turn around times and errors and this has led directly to customer and patient satisfaction yeah customers are more happy with our laboratory today than ever before because of the efficiency that kaizen has created when we look at our emergency department i mean it's tremendous i mean it's unbelievable to what small things that have made a big difference i mean yeah. things like reducing diversion diversions uh, improving the flow of patients within yeah. the accident and emergency department i mean that in itself is a big win for our customers i mean i can give you two more examples and one is our operating theater where we yeah. had the biggest amount of inefficiency and uh -huh. by introducing kaizen and all the other tools related with kaizen in our operating theater it has reduced change over times it has increased optimization the surgeons the doctors are happy the nurses are happy of course the patients are absolutely satisfied so i can go on and on and on and share with you a lot of applications that have really impacted directly on customer care and satisfaction jain thank you thank you very much uh, for that feedback um, uh, mr manosha uh, let me um, talk about uh, just shift a little bit and talk about see as the as the chairman of the board um, you have to um, you know there's a fine balance balancing act um, you have doctors the clinicians right and and of course then you have the the so called non clinical uh, staff members and in a hospital uh the symphony only happens when both the the clinical side and the non clinical side are working in harmony so what has been the adoption of um you know the the, the doctors the clinicians uh to this process what has their what has been their reaction and adoption sir so so basically i mean this was really a big challenge yeah. and thanks to jayant murthy and the entire team gopinath who worked with the clinicians who worked with the doctors who work with all the other aspects of the support staff at the mpsha hospital and really it was a big challenge to make them understand that lean thinking is not a manufacturing tactic or a cost reduction program but a management strategy that is applicable to all organizations but because it has to do with improving processes and Correct. this was really the very big obstacle that we actually uh, went through and some of the challenges that we went through uh, in our kaizen journey at the mpsha hospital this like you rightly said the need for old staff 
to understand what the patient wants are and not what we think they want. Yeah. Because there's so a true. big difference. What yeah. the patient wants and what we think they want. True. And this is what Kaizen taught us. That, that they taught us that let, let our staff understand what the patient wants. And secondly, the need to really understand what our current service delivery is and what the problems are. And Correct. the thing that brought all the clinicians, doctors, and all the paramedical staff together was the need to eliminate all the best and all the blockages to flow so that we could deliver a better product at a better price. Fantastic. So, uh, uh, Mr. Manosha, you really touched upon the most important concept of Kaizen is improving the patient flow. You see, we always say that a good hospital is when the patient can come in and he, uh, you know, all the services are flowing smoothly towards him and he can pass through the entire, you know, flow through the entire system and um, leave the hospital. And, and uh, average length of stay is a very important measure, as you know. Um, how do you reduce the average length of stay? Um, that's very important. And they, to eliminate obstructions, whether it is in OPD or IPD or when you are discharging or, as you said, in, you know, in, the, in, in operating theaters, in pathology, everywhere. Uh, thank you very much for that insight. I will um, quickly take one or two more you know, insights from you. And uh, that is about, I vividly recollect, sir, um, I probably you were the uh, the only chairman of an uh, institution that to a not for profit institution who took the bold decision of um, taking a cross section of your staff members uh, all the way from Kenya to Portugal. OK. And uh, for me, in my career, that was a very uh, grand uh, statement uh, or belief in developing people. And um, and you invested the time and money to take almost, I think we were seven, eight or 10 people who went to Portugal to see some of the uh, hospitals where this was being practiced, large hospitals. Um, so, uh, you know, what, what made you uh, think that investment was worth it, investment in time and cost to take all these people to Europe from Kenya and how has it sort of paid off? So being in the industry for more than 43 years, and having yeah. experience in hospitality, trade, and of course, in the medical field, one of the biggest bottlenecks in any organization is not the scarcity of knowledge to use Kaizen tools, but it is people mindset or people sticking to old paradigms and accepting the change. Correct. And this is the thought that actually made me to take my core key team of the MP Shah Hospital yeah. to Porto, Portugal, to visit a hospital, to see live how Kaizen has impacted upon all the processes and systems and bringing efficiency in that hospital. So that, that is the most uh, important reason why I took my team to Porto, Portugal. And just to add, when we came back from Porto, this trip, the amount of difference that it made in the way that our team now thought about Kaizen, they yeah. have totally changed. Correct. So Absolutely. that was the reason. So I will uh, take two more questions, sir. Uh, one is, uh, of course, you have very, um, very eloquently uh, talked about how this process of operational excellence, Kaizen control improvement has impacted. Uh, the Empisha Hospital, which is uh, you are the chairman of this uh, great institution. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, established in the 1930s, correct, sir? Uh, Empisha yes. Hospital. Yeah. And um, and under your uh, chairmanship, uh, a lot of new wings, a lot of new technologies has been uh, added and it's seen a stupendous uh, growth, both in terms of revenues, quality, patient care, etc. Uh, that's that's uh, your contribution to uh, healthcare Empisha. Um, you have, of course, uh, you're a business leader. So what do you think, if I just go towards business a little bit, um, you know, what are the impediments to adoption of these good practices uh, in the business context today? Uh, of course, in Kenya, there are a lot of companies uh, who have adopted these good practices, uh, Kaizen, operational excellence. But there is still, I think that is still the minority. The majority is still shy away 
and uh, probably are not aware of the of the need and potential for continuous improvement the need to cut waste and not cost and to drive you know customer um, you know improvements which impacts your customer so what are the impediments sir so uh, talking about the challenges i have talked about the uh, challenges where you know staff need to understand the concept of kaizen and yeah. really there has to be a change in the mindset to adopt kaizen yeah but talking about other organizations and how important it is for other organizations to adopt this and having yeah. my experience uh, at the mpsha hospital and of course a little bit of experience with some of the other industries and players in uh, kenya i am of the strong conviction that kaizen certainly improves efficiency with, within all types of industry yeah uh and and it doesn't only apply to hospitals uh, yeah. it applies to manufacturing processes uh, service industries hotels i mean you name it and kaizen is applicable everywhere i mean Correct. this is my own personal belief Correct. in fact what i have seen is uh, having the international experience uh, of uh, being uh, in porto portugal and uh, in kenya and other parts of the world where i travel a lot i have seen numerous companies around the world that have benefited by implementing change initiatives like cars kaizen yeah. and most importantly targeting waste elimination to reduce cost i think this is one of the biggest benefits uh, that any organization can drive from kaizen system improvements and process standardization is really a way of how kaizen is implemented and a culture of continuous uh, improvement and for me kaizen in a way is all about just doing it and kaizen is a journey without end once you start you have to keep going around and making things better so that's my belief fantastic yeah. sir thank you very inspiring very inspiring uh, i know that you you know you have been uh, you know the, you're a lion uh, you know truly a lion at your heart and you've inspired so many people um, one last um, reflection comment from you sir uh, you know uh, we are going through very strange times and this covid has uh, has really impacted people in different ways um, some people of course say that there have also been some good things that have come out from covid um, i want a message from you uh um, to the to to kenyan in you know, kenyans in general to the kenyan business community um you know how do you what i say is build back better how do you come out of this how do you hold your faith as uh, some words of encouragement and your comments sir thank you thank you very much uh, jain murthy i know that uh, like me many other organizations uh, many other companies all over the world have undergone a, a dramatic time in the last 8 months in this covid pandemic uh, a lot of companies have actually uh, strived to make their way out of covid however for me i think the best is to keep a cool mind and really to think about post covid recovery yeah. and during this time when our businesses are suffering when our organizations are taking a big hit it is not time to cut down on anything it is yeah. in fact more the reason why we should implement tools like kaizen programs like kaizen and other initiatives to ensure that we become better and stronger in our post covid strategy so that is what we have started implementing in many of our uh, group companies in kenya and i'm hoping and i'm praying that in the next couple of months in the next year or so we will be back on the road to recovery fantastic yes. sir fantastic so uh, thank you very much i would like to uh, conclude by uh, just sharing with my viewers that uh, you know just yesterday in a conversation i was mentioning um, somebody asked me why should we do continual improvement uh, well the simple answer is because our problems are also continual in nature there is not a single day when we have zero problems every day there is a new challenge whether it's our personal life business uh, who would have imagined 8 months ago about this covid which will you know engulf the whole world um, so we cannot have a situation where there is zero problems 
there is going to be new viruses coming you know hopefully not but there's going to be new viruses covid is not the no, the last virus uh, we can't stop problems we can't stop the virus but what we can invest and build is our immunity you know our ability to deal with this our vaccines so uh, i think kaizen is is helps you build that immunity it's like a vaccine maybe it is a immunity builder booster which can protect you because what we are seeing during these uh, times is that some people are very sadly and very badly impacted by by this virus while some others are not impacted probably one of the reasons why they are not impacted is they have a better immunity so the same way if you extend this thought to a business to an organization i think uh, kaizen um, is definitely something that can form a shield a protective immunity sort of uh, that gives you some immunity from some of these vagaries of the world so uh, sir thank you very much uh, for thank your you. time it's always a pleasure to interact with you and uh, you know in, in spite of your busy schedule you shared we have a lot of viewers who uh, watch these 10 15 minute uh, we call it the kaizen spotlight series and because there is no way uh, we can take the voices of people like you to uh, thousands and thousands of other people so we really appreciate your contribution sir thank, thank you very you. much and you have a, a good day thank and you. a safe safe time thank, thank you. you very much jain purti and god bless you all stay safe and uh, stay well thank you thank you sir thank you very much